IBM Cognos for Microsoft Office is a plugin that can be added to Microsoft Office. So you can consume your reports in PowerPoint, Word, and Excel. I'm going to show you a small demonstration of how this would be done. I've opened up my IBM Cognos Analytics portal to demonstrate how this IBM Cognos from Microsoft Office works. I'm going to go into my team content to find a report that I'd like to bring in to uh, a Word document. It's in my samples, models, Go Data Warehouse Analysis, and uh, Reports to Report Samples. It's called Manager Profile. And it prompts me for a manager and to choose Aggie. And you can see that I've got a header area. I've got uh, the body where I've got uh, a list, a chart and another list. And then I've got some footer information. So these are the components I want to bring in. Actually, I want to exclude the footer. So I'm going to open up my Word document. So I'm going to go to Microsoft Office Word. And if everything's set up right, I should have an IBM tab. Before I open that up, for my page layout, I'd like to have landscape. And now I'll click on the IBM and it opens up tools on the left-hand side. I could create a new connection if it wasn't set up previously, but I, but I did set it up. So I would simply put the connection URL and give it a friendly name. However, I'll click on this button that I've already set up. And of course, it's going to ask me to log in with my credentials. And then click on the IBM Cognos for Microsoft Office button. And on the right hand side, here's my portal information. Now I'm going to go into that same uh, sample models, Go Data Warehouse Analysis. Reports to the report samples. And I believe it's the manager profile. I believe that's the right one. Let's check it out. Notice we have buttons on the bottom. One of them is view report. And if I click on that same manager, you'll notice that uh, all the components show up. So that is indeed the one I was looking for. And I can either now with manager profile, I can either double click that or say import content and it's going to invoke a wizard where I can give it a more user-friendly name to start off with. And uh, you'll notice the components, the header area, the body, as well as the footer. I want to have a break here. And then I'll go next. And I said that we wanted to exclude the footer, but we do want to bring in the header and uh, the body. Now, notice that I, I can't bring in that image on top, but all the rest of the components I can. Yeah certainly the components that have data. Now, it would have helped if uh, some of these components when the report was created were better named, but right now there are list one, expense chart L, uh, list two, etc. So I'll go next. And I do want to insert some uh, a break before the element. And some of these components I can import as a floating object. I'll do that as a chart so I can move it around. So I'll say next. So that's a header. Two, two header components, I'll just say next. Now for both lists, I'll say repeat header rows at the, at the top of each page. If I had lots of data, I'd like to repeat that. So I'll go next. And I mentioned that for the chart, we want to import it as a floating picture. And I'll say next. Again, repeat header rows at the top of each page. Next and finish. And uh, that same prompt comes up. And I'm going to choose the same manager. And now it's doing its magic. It's bringing all that data as well as the chart components, list components, header area, bringing them into Word. And I mentioned that we had the chart that was uh, floating. First of all, I'm going to bring in, bring that list down and then choose that chart, bring it to the bottom. I can size it up. Not only that, now that it's in Word, I can do some formatting. So with this chart, uh, I might like to add a, a border so I can go to the formatting tools. I might like to put a colored border with a weight. And so you see it shows up. So all these tools, all the special things, that's the tools that are available in Word uh, can now be used. Another really neat component is the, 
the fact that people can now change the numbers if they want to. And you may say, well, why is that neat? That's probably not a good idea. And, and you would be right on that. So one of the pain points of using Microsoft Office tools, certainly in Excel that's the case, is the fact that when people pass these reports along, uh, they have a tendency to change the data for themselves. And after a while, you don't know which document has the right data. Well, there's a fix for that. Because remember, you have that connection that was created. And based off of that connection, if we go to the button, if they change something, if you're wondering about the numbers, all you have to do is go to the button that says Refresh All Data, and you can refresh that data so it'll pull in the new numbers. And so now you have a document you can save. And it's in Word. And I'll just call it Manager Profile and in my my documents and uh, that's a nice little demonstration of how you work uh, Microsoft Office uh, with uh, IBM Cognos